Video number five, Windows 7 tips. Analyze processes. One of the coolest new features in the revamped resource monitor, Resmon, is the ability to see the weight chain traversal. An unresponsive process will be shown in red in the resource monitor. Let's go ahead and bring this up while I continue reading this. Resmon. Exe. Okay, this is what they're talking about. Now, um, right-click the processes and choose Analyze Process. So basically, if you're looking at a process here, something's hung up or something, you can right-click. Let's do, um, uh, where's my, let's sort it by that, and then find X Chat. Okay, so if this was hung up or something, you can right-click, and it says something different here, but I'm going to do it, Analyze, Weight, Chain, whatever. One or more threads of XChat are waiting to finish the network. Finish network, input, output. Okay, so basically I think something would be red. Anyways, let me finish reading this. This will show uh, the threads in the process and see, hold, see who holds the resources that are holding up the process itself. You can then kill that part of the process if you like. Resmon, R-E-S-Mon, okay. Uh, this one I haven't really messed with too much. So create virtual worlds. Virtualization compatibility has been added to the disk management tools. If you open computer management, which there's a few ways to do it. I'm going to show you the, uh, the, the old way or probably the, the main way people go to it is right click on computer and go to manage. Sometime. There we go. And then here's your disk management that they're talking about. So well, let me keep reading here. Another way, to, another way to do that actually is, which I I got used to doing is, um, hit start and then just go comp mgmt.msc, computer management.msc. Hit enter, and it'll bring up the same thing. Okay. So uh, go to disk manage, Go to the disk management tool, and then click the action button at top. Um, so we're gonna hit action. There we go. Select this management, then hit action. Um, uh, let's see. You will see the options create VHD and or attach VHD. This allows you to create and mount a virtual hard drive directly from within your GUI or from within the GUI. Note, with Windows 7, you even have the ability to boot a Windows 7 VHD. That's kind of neat. So you can create uh, or attach one. I haven't messed with this, so just showing you it's there. Moving on. Be our guest. Guest mode proves a convenient method to give a guest or child access to your computer with limits on making system changes, inst installing software, or writing to the disk outside the user profile. After the user is done and logs off, data saved inside uh, data saved inside the user profile is deleted. You cannot use guest mode in an Active Directory environment, which is what I'm using here. And one way to tell is let's just do Windows pause and bring this up, and you can see. I am on a domain, uh, not a work group. Okay. Restore from backed up restore points. You can choose to include restore points in your backups and restore from them within, uh, excuse me, backups and restore from them when using System Restore. This is convenient if you want to create a baseline of a working configuration and be able to restore to, uh, to it in the future without overwriting data on the hard disk. Now, let's just bring this up. I never mess with this stuff, but uh, let's just do restore and well, let's do let's select system restore. Um, I think there's some other stuff we're gonna get to later on, but uh, we'll just move on. <laughs> okay, benefit from branch cache. Branch cache helps you save on round trips for requested files in remote branch scenarios. If one person requests a file over the WAN. It's cached, local, it's cached locally and either distributed across computers at the remote branch or stored on a central server at the remote branch. I'm going to have to look into that one. I'm kind of interested in, in, in seeing what that's all about. Next one, pin control panel to the taskbar. If you use the control panel frequently, you may have noticed that you, can, you cannot simply right-click the control panel and select pin to taskbar, which what they're talking about is normally to pin something down here, which I, I don't. If I close all my windows, I have nothing down here. It's just the way I, I'm used to it and like it. But they're talking like, let's say we want to pin this. You can right-click and pin to taskbar, and there it's right there. But I don't want that, so uh, let's unpin it and... There you go. But what they're talking about is the control panel. You can't do that. 
Instead, you must first open Control Panel so its icon appears in the test in the uh, in the taskbar. From there, you can right-click the icon on the taskbar and select Pin this program to the taskbar. So it looks like now you can do Pin this program to the taskbar, and then if we close it, it stays down there. Which again, that that confuses me. So I get confused easily. All right, use stickier notes. Even though this feature has existed in previous versions of Windows in one form or another, it's much easier to use in Windows 7. You can stick a note on your desktop for quick reminders. It's a snap to change the font or note color. If you have a note selected, use Control N to create a new one. Well, let's do that. Note. And I I normally use Notepad or Notepad++ uh, when I when I type notes, so those are at the top of my list. But let's go sticky notes. And here's your sticky note. And uh, this is a note. And let's create a new one. Uh, what they say? Control N. Yep. Control N. 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 All right. There we go. I, d I just did Alt F4 and it closed all of them. And then you can change the fonts and all that. I I don't use those. So moving on. Try out improved WordPad. WordPad. Let's go ahead and bring that up. Let's just go WordPad. And as I said in the the previous videos too, I like to use the instant search for basically everything. Hit Enter. And here's the new and improved WordPad. The old WordPad looked like junk. This has a little bit of an Office 2007 feel. I haven't used it yet, but let me read it real quick. Here we go. Uh, you probably haven't given much thought to WordPad lately, but the, but the version ship, shipping with Windows 7 has undergone a major renovation. Think of it as a light version of Microsoft Word. WordPad sports a spiffy ribbon interface, making it a snap to create well-formatted documents. Plus, you are no longer reg uh, uh, regulated. What? Some word that I don't know. To save them as RTF files. <laughs> WordPad now supports the Office Open XML document .docx format. This makes it even easier to open .docx files created in Word in WordPad. The end. We're moving on to the next video. Uh, stand by.